This video is going to be a quick guide to setting up your Data Traveler Locker Plus. So that was the USB flash drive that I unboxed very recently. So this is a 16 gig one here. So I plug it in and then I run the DTL Plus utility. Takes just a moment to launch. Okay, here we go. So language English, that will work out just fine for me. But there's your language selections that you can choose from. And I accept the license agreement, which is, oh, it's actually not that long. It's actually readable. Okay, and then I put in a password. So here we can see the password rules. Six to 16 characters long and contain at least three of the following. Uppercase, lowercase, digits, and special characters. Wow. Okay, well it happens that my personal favorite strong password uh, already contains a bunch of different kinds of characters, so I'm just typing it with my other hand here. And uh, so that should be just fine. So my hint will be strong. Okay. There we are. I can put, wow, I can put in my name. Okay, so I'll put my name. My company, as most of you already know, is NCIX. And then details, so I don't really have any. Okay, so go ahead and finish. So it's formatting the drive. We'll see how long that takes. Hopefully not too long. Oh, done. Okay. So that was it. So can we open the drive now? Oh yes, we can. Okay, so there, I opened up uh, another Explorer window and it's given me the option to open up the drive. Okay, well, why don't we do a quick speed test while we're at it? So let's grab a large file, like a, uh, say for example, a video file and copy it over there. So this is a 799 meg file and I'll let you guys do the timing if you feel like it. But we can see what Windows reports as the speed, which isn't actually too bad for uh, just a, a normal USB flash drive. Some of the quad channel ones will do up to about 25 megabytes per second, so I assume this one's a dual channel one. This should be done fairly shortly. I guess I could have chosen a smaller video file if I really wanted to. Uh... Anyway, the advantage that you get with the Locker Plus is that you have the data encryption. So. What I'm going to do is once this file is on the drive, I'm going to take it out, put it back in the computer, and then uh, we'll see the little prompt where it should uh, ask for a password before I can actually access the drive. That's cool, I'm patient. Almost done. And there we go. So the file is copied. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of the computer now. If I can find it. There it is. Okay, we have removed it. Now let's try again. Plug it in. And let's see what happens. Here we go. So can I just open a folder to view the... Oh. No, I cannot. So I have to actually run the, the auto run. Okay, open autoplay. Run the launcher. So now, hopefully, it'll give me a choice to just put in the password and access the data. Yeah, there we go. I've never actually used an encrypted USB before. Okay, there's my hint. So I can log in. And there we go. There's my data. So if I copy this into here, uh, yeah, copy and replace, we can see how quickly we can read off the drive. So you can see the reads are quite a bit faster than the writes. Bear in mind, you're going to get slower results if you're using a number of small files versus one large file. So I'm, I'm giving it every advantage here to prove its best case scenario, but there you have it. There's our little uh, setup guide and test of the Kingston 16 gig Data Traveler Locker Plus. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. And I have a question for you if you want to leave a comment under the video. Tell me what you would use an encrypted USB thumb drive for and the winner of whoever I think has the best or funniest or most appropriate or I don't know it's going to be arbitrary but I'm going to pick one winner and they will win a 16 gig data traveler locker plus so that's pretty cool right leave a comment